Just put the cards in, start mining right away. So in total, all those parts here cost me And we are ready to go We are making $39 What's up guys, welcome to How Much YouTube channel My name is Idan and today I'm building the most powerful mining rig I've ever done in my life And I'm gonna show you how much money all those parts cost which parts you need to build something like this. Also, I'm gonna show you how to set it up from scratch, how much money does it cost in electricity, and how much money I'm gonna make from this rig. Let's start by reviewing all the products that you need. The most important thing is the graphics card. As you can see, we have seven RTX 3080s that I found on eBay, and each of them cost me a different price. This EVJ card cost me $1,766.94. This gigabyte version of RTX 3080 cost me $1,773.90. This Asus stuff cost me $1,772.05. This gigabyte RTX 3080 was a little bit cheaper at $1,692.50. This is my second MSI RTX 3080. This one has three fans and it cost me $1,713.24. And those are all my graphics cards from eBay. In total, all those graphics cards cost me $12,228.11. The most expensive part of this build. I choose two power supplies to run this because together they're gonna take over 2,000 watts. Those are 1,600 watt power supplies from BitcoinMerch.com. Each one costs $349.99, so two of them together is $699.98. This is a ready-to-mine rig from BitcoinMerch.com. This one costs $1,049.99, and it actually comes with everything you need to start mining. And you don't need risers, you don't need anything for this. This is why I like it. All we're gonna do is basically install NiceHash and Windows on the included SSD already in there and just put the cards in, start mining right away. It does not come with a power supply and this is why we need two power supplies. It even comes with RAM. So you literally just buy this, buy power supplies, graphics cards, you're ready to go. So in total, all those parts here cost me 13900 78 and 8 cents basically 14 grand for this now let's start with the setup now we're gonna power up this machine with the power supply from bitcoinmerch.com now we need this jumper it's included and we're gonna plug it in to the atx cable this mining rig does not have a motherboard connection like this so we need this jumper so the power supply turns on right away now let's plug it in right here Boom, just like that. Now it's plugged in. The next thing we need is this power cable. This will run the motherboard itself on this computer. I'm gonna plug in the power right now. So this power will go to the motherboard, all right? Now we're gonna power up this beast with the PCI cables, all right. Now we're gonna plug in those PCI E power to here. We only need two connectors, but I'm gonna take this out because we need a six pin. See, six pin here, six pin here. So I'm gonna plug this in. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the second one. Okay, now I'm gonna plug in the power. As you can see, it supports 110 or 230 volts. So 220, it works everywhere. So this is a 110 volt straight from my house, okay? So I'm gonna plug this in. Now, when I'm gonna do the switch, when I'm gonna switch it on right now, it will turn right up. Let's see. Boom. The computer is now on. We are now gonna install Windows on this USB. You can use any USB above eight gigabyte or so. So what we're gonna do now is simply search for download windows 
on Google and click on the first one. After downloading the tool, we are now gonna create installation media. So we're gonna plug in our little USB. I plug in the USB to one of my available USB ports. I'm gonna hit next. Now you can choose what kind of windows you want to install. I'm just going to pick this. Now, if you want to buy the license, you can buy one and then you're going to avoid having the stamp, the watermark, however you call it, on the right side of Windows. That's always remind you to buy a license. But if you don't want to buy a license, that's fine. You can use it for mining. I do that all the time. So let's go ahead and click next. We're going to choose USB flash drive and hit next. Now we're going to choose new volume F. That's the USB I'm using and hit next. It's gonna download Windows for you and install it on that drive. Using some editing magic, this will install fully. We are all done with the Windows USB. I now wanna install one more NiceHash OS. We're gonna have two different versions of OS systems to mine. So let's do it right now so we can just go and start mining right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this USB in and we're gonna go to NiceHash OS, so NHOS, and we're gonna click on download NiceHash, 64 bits. We're gonna save it and run it right now. Once we are done installing NiceHash OS Flash Tool, we're gonna choose the flash drive we're gonna install it on, which is this one, a generic one, and we're gonna put the NiceHash Bitcoin address. This is where uh, you're gonna get paid because it's gonna pay you in Bitcoin. How NiceHash works is it mines at the best algorithm at the moment and it pays you in Bitcoin. So it doesn't pay you in the um, algorithm you're actually mining in, for example, Ethereum. It mines Ethereum but pays you in Bitcoin. But we need the Bitcoin address from the NiceHash uh, website. So we're gonna go to NiceHash website right here, click on deposit, show BTC, and I'm gonna copy this Bitcoin address and paste it on the flash tool. So that way I'm gonna get paid when I'm mining. So you're gonna do exactly the same. Now let's click flash and wait for it to finish. And this is all you have to do with NiceHash OS. Very simple. But remember, they take 5% fee to make it so easy to use. In my opinion, it's worth it because I can start mining right away with no settings, nothing. I just have to put my Bitcoin address from NiceHash wallet and I'm done. Another feature I really like is that I can actually withdraw Bitcoins from the Bitcoin wallet that I have directly to my Coinbase, which is awesome because there is no fee. I don't have to pay a network fee to do that. It's free. So I do that every day. I basically withdraw all the Bitcoins I have from NiceHash to Coinbase. That's where I prefer to be. So let's do it right now. Boom. All done. Awesome. We're gonna do the same once we have some money in our NiceHash account for mining seven GPUs. Now let's go back to the miner and put all the graphics cards in, set up the windows, let's go. Now we're gonna install Windows. I'll plug in the little USB in the back, turn it on. Everything works right away. I'm choosing the drive. You see I have 60 gigs of memory inside the miner right away. So I choose that and hit next. I finished installing Windows on this USB. Now I'm gonna go to download NiceHash. Very simple. I simply plugged in a network cable to the miner. So let's go ahead and download it. I like the normal NiceHash, not the quick miner. It has more settings and more options. So I'm gonna click on download. I'm gonna download the installer. It's really that easy. Now I'm gonna scan this code to sync this miner to my nice hash you're gonna do the same on your nice hash app it's so easy you click on the barcode scan i go here boom i scanned it okay rig added successfully perfect now i'm gonna click on confirm scan and we are ready to go now we're gonna let nice hash download some of the drivers and stuff it takes like uh, five ten minutes Let's wait until it's done. Now we're gonna install the video cards. As you can see here, I actually disconnected all the fans because they're so loud for this video. But once the video is done, I'm gonna replug those fans in. So there's gonna be a better air cool, better airflow. Okay, so I'm gonna install my first card over here.
I had to install NVIDIA drivers in order to, for the graphics card to show up. So now it's showing up as one graphics card. It's right here. Now we're ready to install the second one. We just finished the mining rig and we have to store our crypto profits somewhere. So I want to tell you about our sponsor, Crypto.com. It's a wallet on Android and on iPhone that you can store all your crypto. Not only that, you can even stack them. So you can put your crypto away for a few months and get up to 10% back or even more on your crypto just by not touching it. So check it out in the link in the description below. We ended up using NiceHash OS with a USB that we installed earlier because it saves us so much time and it will just plug and play. So I recommend not even trying Windows. Just plug it in, the NiceHash OS, set it up on your computer and you're ready to go. We are using two power supplies. The first power supply is in charge of three GPUs and the motherboard and it consumes 810 watts. The second power supply is in charge of four different video cards and it consumes 930 watts. So in total, we're actually spending about 1,730 watts, something like that, all together. It costs us a total of $274 per month to run this 24 seven. Now, how much does it make? Let's check out the NiceHash app and find out. We are making $39 and 85 cents per day. That's $1,195.50 every month. This is impressive. That means you're gonna get your money back in as little as a year, maybe a year and six months. When we deduct the electricity though, we're only making $921.50. Remember, in California, I pay 22 cents per kilowatt hours. So it depends on where you live and how much electricity you pay. And that's how you can calculate how much you spend. We had to remove the videos because the 3080s are so long, so we removed them. But I do recommend to install them again outside, just like that. So they still work, they're just gonna be outside of the case, not inside. It's very important because they get really hot. I wanna mention Ethereum 2.0. We're moving from proof of work to proof of stake which means it will affect our mining profit. We can still mine a lot of different algorithms using the RTX 3080 cards, but the Ethereum algorithm will be switched off. So just remember that, and if you wanna learn more about it, check out mining chamber video in the link below to learn more about Ethereum 2.0. If you're interested in building a rig like this, I will leave all the links in the description below so you can build one yourself. And don't forget to subscribe if you liked the video. Comment below what are you mining right now and see you guys next time. Peace.